two giant strikes. One there. One there. Got a nice Io moth. Let's see if we can get him to open up. Hello, Mr. Io. Oh, that's a whole lot of bugs. I want to see who else is as crazy as I am. What? Crocodile mating. Can you believe this? What? Hi Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine. Today we're gonna go on an adventure in North Key Largo. Uh, guys, I filmed this a couple uh, years ago. It's footage that I found in one of my old hard drives. And it was a an exceptional surveying time in, the, in North Key Largo, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. And I wanted to just share you kind of some, like what does it look like to actually go on a moth survey? So uh, just to warn you, uh, this is a, you know, I go out and I collect moths. And so we only take the specimens that we need for scientific research and we don't you know take anything more most of what we see is uh is unharmed completely unharmed but just wanted to just get you re ready that we are using some bucket traps to survey some of the micro and um and and that is part of how we have discovered so many new species so uh guys come on a journey with me and as i show you what does it look like to go on a moth surveying expedition in North Key Largo. Check it out. Unfortunately, this highway is a little bit of a death trap. People want to drive 100 miles an hour. There's a guy behind me now and thinks I'm driving too slow. That's all right, you can still think that. But this, you know, this is a uh, almost 10 miles of, of hammock here and this uh the the east side of the road there he is he's he's free now the east side of the road is uh belongs to the state of florida and that's the um north key largo botanical site and the right side of the road is all crocodile lake national wildlife refuge which is federally owned and this is the site i have the permits for that uh certain moths it's theorized that they don't really fly all that far from their host plant. So there could be things in little tiny pockets of this hammock or pockets or a little field or roadside where a certain plant is growing where it's their host plant. And, and uh, if we don't get a trap within 100 feet of that little tiny area, you're never going to see that species. So uh, it's good to move stuff around, shuffle it around a little bit, and you never know what you're going to find. That's the the fun part about this hobby is you literally never know what you're going to run into. He agreed that every time we come out here, it's you're finding different things, new things. It's very exciting. So, we'll see what we can uh, come up with here. Now, all right, mosquitoes are starting to hit me. As soon as I get, as soon as I get out of the truck, they're hitting me like crazy. I'm going to lock the traps first. Down our little trail. Only piece of flesh that's exposed. I got a mosquito jack and you can see them all swarming my hands. I'm not a big fan of uh, Zika or encephalitis, so I'm going to put my hands in my pockets constantly. Okay, there's not enough there for two traps, so I will need a full one. And I will need my two batteries. Number one, two. They're bad here. Okay. 
try these out. Make sure oh, this one's got a photo cell. It's got a photo cell. So it only comes on when it gets dark. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. So, saves the battery. Let's get ourselves some. Some ethyl acetate. And the ethyl rush through these tin cans. Wow, the mosquitoes are mad. When, a, when the manager of the refuge says this is the worst he's ever seen it, and he lives here, you know the mosquitoes are bad. Okay, you're good to go. Hopefully. I don't know if you can see my jeans. Back of my hands. Whew. This is insane. shirt on underneath it and they still bite through both layers biting my back through my clothing mm. okay words can't even express how how maddening this is to have the mosquitoes that bad on you. We're driving. And uh, I'm gonna try and gain my composure and my sanity because supposedly the public is gonna come and uh, learn about moths tonight. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I wanna see who else is as crazy as I am. So uh, I'll show you guys more in a bit. Guys, first of all, it's pretty lonely. There, You can't find typically find a whole lot of people that are gonna be willing to First of all, put up with the salt marsh mosquitoes and then set up all that stuff, put out all the bucket traps, set up all the, the light stuff. I mean, look at my truck, how much stuff is in it. It's a lot of work. You, you work uh, when you're doing this moth surveying. But guys, here is when we set up our light traps in Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge at the Nike Missile Site. Check it out. We are, it's about 5.25 in the morning and we are coming up on the, uh, the light sheet over here. It's got some mods on it. Hi there. We are at the uh, Nike missile site, uh, North Key Largo, uh, and it's June 2017, we, this is our first annual BioBlitz moth survey. We've got our lights set up and we've got a full sheet, so I figured I'd make a little video and kind of show you guys what, what we got going on. Camera out. Okay. See what we got today. All right. Very good. Pseudosphinx tetrio. Not a common bug. Ooh, Composia as a faithful beauty. Right there. Man, 
mantis that you see. Just fall right onto my, uh, because he wants to scurry around a bit. But, <clears throat> as you can see, there's plenty of insect life at the sheet. Plenty of insect life at the sheet. Let's say that I'm a little impressed that there's not more sphinges. However, at the sheet we have two giant sphinxes. Cochidius Antius. Whoop. <laughs> That's a big moth. That's a big moth. That's a really big moth. It's our largest sphinx moth right there. It is. That is our largest sphinx moth. He's pretty. The females are much larger. Probably got eight inches, eight inch wingspan. Another beautiful moth. That's Phryxus Kaikus. We got Melpotus fossilarius. Oh, nice water beetle. Got a little Groats Sphinx. Tethia grodii. Needle pyralids. Come on. on. Uh, it's a uh, Heterocampa cubana. Mr. Io. This is the Keys version of the Io moth. The form of Lilith. Look like the highlights. Tessellaris. And so, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure we'll get you more later. Alright, so, one of the, uh, one of the fun parts of collecting moths is that whenever you collect moths, you gotta break down your light sheet. And uh, when you break down your light sheet, see all these bugs? Yeah, they gotta fly somewhere. And you have to get them off the sheet. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna shake this bed sheet and get all the moths and uh, insects off. And then uh, we'll see what happens to this uh, light over here. All right, here we go.
probably better for you to hold your breath. I got a good mosquito net on. Well, that's a lot of bugs. <laughs> that's a lot of bugs. Uh, these salt marsh mosquitoes. Dawn's coming at the the uh, sun is starting to come up over the trees here. And um, funny, the salt marsh mosquitoes are actually ones that uh, come out more and with more ferocity at twilight. There's a pink spotted hawk moth. See the pink spots on the abdomen here? That's a cool moth. Mr. Pink Spotted. Uh, so, in order to not be going mad with uh, zillions of mosquitoes trying to eat me, I'm going to start breaking down the light now before, uh, <laughs> before the sun comes up. traps yeah so a lot of work a lot of stress a lot of a lot of bugs uh but i love it because we're finding new stuff we're finding new species all the time uh and guys if you haven't check out my website we got almost 600 species of moths that we found just in the keys just in the florida keys and they're all surveyed and documented there for you but we saw some really really cool bugs giant sphinx 
We saw Composia, the uh, Faithful Beauty, like really cool bugs. I mean, things that very few, very few people ever see. So we're very grateful for that. But now it's time for us to go pick up our bucket light traps. And so we're gonna go do that now. But the mosquitoes, as the sun comes up, the mosquitoes wake up and they are out for blood. And we went and picked up our traps and check this out. The uh, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge this is the, what is known as the cockfighting arena. Uh, I don't know, in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, there was a uh, illegal uh, rooster fighting <laughs> uh, stadium back here, actually. And uh, it's now one of our best places for looking for moths. A lot of Florida purple wings down this trail. And what I wanted to do is, I wanted to try and show what the, the, the insanity of the mosquitoes when you walk into this place in the summer. Uh, I don't know if you can see them buzzing around me uh, already, but uh, we're gonna, I'm going to walk down that trail and we'll see if we can show you what's up. There's some light traps out here. You can probably see them down there. It's a 15 watt bulb black light bulb and uh, they hook up to a little little battery like this. I don't know if you can see the mosquitoes. They do any justice at all to how they actually are. <laughs> it's insane. It is insane. So first thing we do is we need to get the ethyl acetate funnel contents not too heavy on moth and not too heavy on moths we'll just dump that down that's a bucket full of brown moths Comment down below, would you continue with the research if the mosquitoes are that bad? Uh, sometimes I wonder if I should continue this, but I love it so much, so I'm going to. But now we're going to go take our traps to a, a parking lot uh, outside of the refuge, pr probably where there's less mosquitoes a little bit. And now it's time to sift through all those buckets. And what we're doing is we're finding mostly microlepidoptera in those buckets. And you know, there's a, a couple larger things come in, but we're finding microlepidoptera and look what it, you gotta sift through all these little insects that find their way into the trap just to find a few interesting moths. Check this out.
trap number two. There's a nice chill. to Robert Berger for beetle analysis. All right, so that's a lot of bugs. They, they go into the trap and we find, that's how we find our new species. Most of them find their way into those little bucket light traps because they just collect all night long. Anyway, it might seem like a lot of waste, but I promise you, all those insects, you know, I send, I send the beetles to a beetle guy. I send flies to a fly person. I send the different, uh, the different microlepidoptera, you know, they're getting sent to, to, you know, Florida State Collection of Arthropods and stuff like that. So this is scientific work guys, and this stuff's not going to waste. Literally multiple entomologists are sifting through the same uh, bag of bugs to find cool things that they're studying. And so guys, hope you liked the video. That's what it takes to do a night worth of surveying down the Florida Keys, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, by the way, I've got all the permits necessary to do this research, and that's how we're finding all of these cool bugs. But guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out our website, keysmoths.com. We got probably 600 moths just from the Florida Keys documented for you and 100 butterfly species. So guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.